Success in Formula One is a team effort. This is no more evident than during the pit stops. Getting fuel into the car is potentially dangerous. Every step is coordinated and rehearsed. Hi, uh, my name's John. I'm one of the refuelers for Red Bull Racing. And I'm going to take you around a few of the controls for the fuel rigs. First of all, here on my helmet, we have a, uh, a red indicator that um, when we connect to the rigs, it comes on to let me know that we're ready to receive controls. Once we're primed and uh, ready to uh, put fuel to the car, the green light comes on. And then when we're waiting, um, the green light stays on as a standby. And when you connect to the car, the amber light on the end here comes on and that shows that the fuel is flowing. Once the correct amount of fuel is in the car, both those two lights go off and then the red light comes back on and we pull off of the car and that's the last part of the pit stop as far as we're concerned. Now we're going to show you the, uh, the fuel nozzle and the end that I control. First of all we hold on the top handles and at speed we have to go onto the car and line up these pins here and once all those pins are correct the second stage handles will then go down onto the car and once that's all the way down fuel is allowed then to flow through the nozzle. When it's ready to come off, you pull onto the bottom handles, that comes all the way up and then you go onto the second stage handles and pull that up and the, off the car. But that all has to be done very fast because normally you're the last person they're waiting for before the car can leave. So the engine's revving, it's ready to go, so as soon as you're off the car leaves the pits. Hi, my name's Ray, I'm a fuel rig technician here at Red Bull Racing. So I'm an engineer on the computer that operates everything in the fuel stop. During the pit stop, the car will come in and we will reset all these figures to the fuel density and the quantity that we need for the stop. As we're ready for the stop, we will communicate with each other. There's six of us on the refueling system and we will press the start button to activate the system, which will then change these lights at the top and the dead man's handle will be opened by a third party. This is a safety procedure, so if we have a failure or anything else, can automatically shut the system. When the fuel's finished, you will have figures that will tell you the motor speed and a fuel flow of 12 litres per second. 